So just a quick follow-up note on these strikes. Uh, I'm not sure of the value of hitting, for instance, an HQ. Uh, unless you kill it, it it's still going to have all its capabilities and just have a plus one DRM on its attacks or combat impact. So it takes a lot of strikes, takes three strikes basically to kill it and not sure that's worthwhile. So what I did do, if you'll see this unit down there, that guy, uh, rather than attack uh, that HQ, I attacked that unit in the open. And you can see that went from a 694 down to a 354. To me, in this coming turn with uh, positive DRMs and column shifts coming my way uh, in the first turn, uh, attacker advantage seems like uh, weakening units would be more advantageous than destroying headquarters in the in the opening phase of the combat even though I would have thought uh, degrading command and control would be more important so I did reduce that unit there I kept the attack on the HQ for the uh, Chinese airborne there uh, the same and then down in Lahore I changed an attack there and, and actually uh, knocked a step off a, a combat unit in Lahore as well. So just want to give an update on that. That's the end of the phase uh, for all this missile uh, bombing and shooting and blowing stuff up. And now we're going to move on to the uh, allocating aircraft strikes. And that will probably take a little while and be deadly.